This is the volcanic island of Hunga Tonga. And today I want to take a look at this particular area in the Microsoft Flight Simulator, a quick flight over the island just to see how it's represented. Now I'm sure many of you will be well aware there was a rather terrible eruption out this way very recently, on the 14th and 15th of January in fact. The area is no stranger to volcanic eruptions and there's been numerous ones in the past. In fact, this is what the island looked like in 2014, at two separate islands. Then in December of 2014, a massive eruption caused a big plume of ash to rocket into the sky. This settled down in January of 2015, forming this big island that we can see right here. So this is some footage of Crater Lake and it was filmed near the summit in 2017. This was taken by NASA. Then things changed dramatically and tragically with an eruption just this month. Now it's very early days to tell at the moment exactly how things stand out here, but it seems to all intents and purposes that the island, the newly formed island there, has been destroyed. So in this video, like I said, I want to take a look at this area in Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is Hunga Tonga, as it appears in Bing Maps. And you can see it's got very much the older satellite imagery here, the two separate islands. Over on Google Maps, we can see a much more recent footage with the central crater lake here, the island that formed back in the start of 2015. So I don't want to make a habit of these type of videos. I did recently make a comparison video between Bing Maps and Google Maps. Like I say, it's not something I want to do too often, but this is kind of exceptional circumstances. So here is Hunga Tonga in Microsoft Flight Simulator using the Bing Maps imagery. And here we are actually in flight. You can see there's a weird shadowy effect between the two different islands and uh, that's a little bit more apparent here, maybe a build-up of ash or something like that. But the central island, the central crater, certainly isn't apparent yet. Microsoft Flight Simulator has also added trees here and trees are certainly present on both the satellite imagery from Bing as well as Google. From a distance we can see the two separate islands. Again, it seems like they're joined by a level of ash here but honestly, I think this is just the way the satellite imagery is being drawn up in a Microsoft Flight Simulator. It looks more like C to me. At any rate, moving over to Google Maps within Microsoft Flight Simulator, this is using a mod as I discussed in a previous video, and you can see a link to that at the top of the video right now. So, once again, we're flying in Microsoft Flight Simulator here. Instead of using Bing Maps this time, we're actually using Google Data. And you can see it looks quite different. The central crater is indeed there. It looks pretty detailed in fact. However, there doesn't appear to be any elevation data here. This is a completely flat, uh, flat rather, uh, map. From an altitude, you almost get the impression of some 3D elements to this though. And that's based purely upon the geometry of the texture, I'd imagine. It's just given us kind of an illusion um, of a 3D effect. So that's the uh, two different data sets for Microsoft Flight Simulator using both Bing and Microsoft. Now, moving on, we've got a different island here. This is the volcanic island of Tofua, again using uh, Bing Maps this time. Uh, you notice how we lost detail and texture as we zoomed right in close. Very different story when using Google Maps, however, we get quite a nice detailed uh, effect here. And here we are looking at the same location once again in flight in Sim. Now as far as I'm concerned, these type of regions, these type of areas, volcanic areas in particular, calderas and craters, make for exceptional looking regions within the Sim. And generally they're one of my favourite places to explore. This is Mount Okmok over in Alaska, Northern America. Uh, using Bing Maps of course, the rest of the video is using default scenery. This truly is an absolutely stunning location. A lot of detailed, pretty high resolution imagery here and some really wonderful terrain as well. So uh, yeah, it's actually an area I highly recommend. One of the things that appeals to me the most here is the sheer variety of the landscape, both in terms of geometry as uh, geology, as well as um, the texture and coloration here as well. Lovely looking place. Moving back to Tonga though, it really is a serious tragedy what's happened over here. This is the island as it appears in Microsoft Flight Simulator, a truly a beautiful looking region. But unfortunately we don't know what it looks like today due to the various communication issues going on here. 
Hopefully the people who live here are able to pull through and get the assistance they need. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.